That's me stuffing my pockets at an Amazon Go store. But before you make any assumptions, you should know this. This is exactly what you're supposed to do here. Because at this store, there are no cashiers. And whatever you walk out with, you're just charged automatically. Today I've come to the Amazon Go store and I'm the only one here because nobody really works here. Here's how it works. The retail store uses cameras and weight to know if an item was taken and then associate that item with your wallet. It does this by using cameras and weight sensors to track you as you move around the store. It's also known as just walk out technology, which includes computer vision, sensor function, and deep learning. And anytime you put something back, it also knows. So no matter what you grab while you're in the store and whatever you put back, it just knows. And it's only when you exit that you're actually charged for what you bought. It kind of feels like a fancy, clean 7-Eleven. Because San Francisco is pretty much emptied out right now, so have these shelves. There isn't a ton of food options, but they have everything from chicken curry with jasmine rice, to salads, to buffalo-style chicken wraps. $10.79 for this box of lettuce. There are about two dozen of these stores already located in San Francisco, New York, Seattle, and Chicago, cities that have a high percentage of foot traffic. But Amazon is considering opening up to 3,000 of these stores. So much innovation is happening here. For $1.59, you could actually get a box of water instead of a bottle. While this concept started out as cashless, Amazon eventually said it would offer cash as a payment option. Why? Well, some, including politicians, criticize this concept, saying that it excludes the millions of Americans without a credit or debit card. Okay, it feels so bizarre being in this store by myself. Like there's no cashier to monitor you, to see if you have any questions. It's just me. This is probably the most bizarre shopping experience I've ever had. Wait, I just found a human. By the way, you can also bring your returns here too. Once I pass this green line, that's when it's like, you're done. Whatever you could walk out with, we're charging you for. Whatever you put back, that's fine. And that's it. There's no cash register. There's no checkout system. You're just done. You just walk out of the store. You're done. So normally there's this lounge so you could eat your $11 box of lettuce and your boxed water. But because of COVID, it is closed. That was definitely a unique experience. I felt very weird walking out and not going to a cash register. You really feel like you're stealing something. That little angel on your right shoulder is yelling at me right now to go back and pay for it. But you already did. Overall, it's a very fast and efficient process. It really does save you time. You can pretty much guarantee you're gonna be in and out quickly. So sometimes if you walk into a convenience store or another type of store, you just don't know if there's gonna be a line. And so you might not actually go because it's a variable, right? But with this, you know it's gonna be in and out. And so I think they probably get a lot more customers because they can pretty much guarantee how quick the entire process will be. One downside of this though, is I noticed a lot of people took a while to either download the app or open up the app. It's not as simple as just walking into the store and it should be pretty quick, but for some people it took them over 30 seconds, sometimes even a minute just to do that. And in one or two cases, people even turned around. I don't know if they didn't wanna download the app or they couldn't find the app. I can't really imagine though this working for bigger stores besides like small convenience stores. Although Amazon has an answer for that too, they just started rolling out Amazon Fresh. It's a grocery store. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? Do you think this is the future of shopping at a convenience store? While you're at it, check out the video where I go inside an Amazon Fresh store in Los Angeles. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and find me online at Upton.